This is a great movie. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna wanna skip this movie. Have you ever wondered what movie should I see this weekend? Well, we're here to help. It's on cinema at the cinema. Hi everybody, my name is Tim Heidecker and you're watching On Cinema at the Cinema. Uh, this is a movie show, or it's a web show about which we review, I review movies uh, and have a, as a get with a guest who also reviews the movies, uh, who is Greg Turkington. Hey guys, good to be here and good to see you Tim. Thank you very much. And uh, Grown Ups 2, this is the movie we're talking about today, directed by Dennis uh, du or Dugan. Uh, starring this, uh, of course, this is an Adam Sandler movie with Steve Buscemi, Kevin James, David Spade, Chris Rock, Maya Rudolph. And uh, Lenny has relocated his family to where he and his friends grew up. This time the grown-ups are the ones learning lessons from their kids on a day full of surprises, the last day of school. So this is one of those last day of school movies. The great Adam Sandler has returned. The first grown-ups was one of my favorite movies of uh, combining summer comedy with uh, some pretty gross-out comedy-style humor, which I love, and uh, and great to see that Saturday Night Live gang coming back together. They are sort of the the original, not ready for primetime players, and uh, that that's why I give this movie five bags of popcorn. Yeah, I love the movie too. Um, I think that the title uh, is a little misleading. Grown Ups Two should be for grown ups only because <laughs> uh, it's it's pretty raunchy. I'd feel strange showing this to a kid, but that said, I'd feel great showing it to an adult, and I think if you're an adult, you should definitely see it. I'd give it uh, five bags of popcorn and maybe uh, an empty bag to throw up into, because it's kind of a gross-out movie. All right, the other movie uh, discussed is uh, Pacific Rim. Disgust is how I felt when I watched uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Grown Ups 2. Mm -hmm. All right, Pacific Rim, directed by Guill Guillermo del Toro. It's a weird name. Um, Yes, this is an alien attacks Earth, a bunch of nobodies, so I'm not even going to mention who starred in it. When an alien attack threatens Earth, giant robots piloted by humans are deployed uh, to fight off the menace. So this is an alien ad adventure, an alien attack adventure movie. Very interesting sci-fi movie for me. I give it uh, two bags of popcorn because I thought it was not very uh, interesting and uh, I thought that Tom Cruise should have been in it because it, I don't know why they bother making <coughs> these movies. Uh, where it's an alien movie, an adventure, and there's no uh, big stars in it. So I didn't care for this movie. I thought it was a uh, junk. Well, Tom Cruise wasn't in the original Alien movie, and uh, I think you'd give that five bags of popcorn. So I think you should give this five bags of popcorn, which is what I gave it. I love this movie, and I look forward to many more in the series. Tell you what, why don't I adjust the rating after you made a good point. It doesn't have to have Tom Cruise in it. Uh, let me throw two bags back in the mix and give it four. So. There will be four bags from me. I do think that, though, Hollywood should take notice that we are not going to keep seeing movies if it's not going to have big movie stars in it. Charlie Day is not a movie star. Somebody named Idris Elba is not a movie star. Charlie Humam, Hunam is a, is a joke. And if you're saving money, if that's what this is about, saving money, well, then guess what? I'm not going to pay money. But, you know, today's nobodies are tomorrow's stars. I think if you saw Risky Business when it first came out, you'd say, oh, who's Tom Cruise? I never heard of him. Well, he went on to be one of the biggest stars of the No, generation. because everyone knew t Tom Cruise by then. He was one of the biggest stars on TV. That was his TV. first movie. Yeah, but he was already a big TV star. Well, so are these people. Hollywood is, is uh, this is your warning. Don't keep putting out these movies that have cool ideas and cool sci-fi, but don't have any stars I want to see, so... Next time, think about who you're putting in this movie. Even Tom Hanks would have been good. A lot of these stars are getting older, and you need a new generation of stars to replace them. And the best way to do that is to give them a chance in movies like this. I love the movie. I'm saying it's so hard to put somebody like, even if you want young, go Channing Tatum or somebody of that ca caliber into the film, and we'd all enjoy it much more. Still, four bags of popcorn. And um, let's uh, do a, cop a popcorn classic. Uh, this week on Popcorn Classics, we're looking at a great movie called Six Days, Seven Nights. It's uh, an action romance uh, with Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones, the original Han Solo, lots of other films, Patriot Games, and uh, Anne Hesch, a bit of eye candy for the guys. Um, Harrison Ford delivers in this film. It's, uh, it's pretty exciting, got a little bit of romance for the ladies, and it's just a fun package. I loved it. And of course, if you know my rating system, uh, five bags of popcorn. Mm -hmm. Always look at the second 
digit on the front of the tape for those of you who are in the know. Yeah, I remember when this came out, it was kind of considered a big, big flop. It was a critical darling, and uh, I loved it, and I wouldn't call it a flop. This mm. was a movie that sort of didn't appeal to uh, all audiences because mm. it sort of brought back the old Casablanca style of movie making or uh, some of the old Bogart and Bacall, that kind of chemistry that these two had in right. this picture. So I, I right. absolutely can't recommend this film enough, right. and I would give it five bags of popcorn. All right, thank you. And, uh, and thanks, Harrison Ford. Thank you, Harrison Ford, and thanks for watching, and uh, we'll oh, see you guys. Oh, one last thing. Um, it's not your birthday, but it doesn't mean I can't get you a present, especially because you've been through so much. And just to sort of as an appreciation for all that you've done, uh, for me and for the audience, I've got some new uniforms for us to wear. As uh, co-hosts of the show, uh, they're popcorn butter yellow, uh, which is kind of cool because, of course, the popcorn rating system. This is something you can wear next week on the show and every week um, just to, uh, I don't know. It's a neat, neat idea. All right, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. What size is this? Extra it's large? One size fits all. Extra large. Well, thanks, but Greg, and thanks for watching. Try it. You can get it altered.